Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully everyone's doing well. This is going to be a kids clothing haul, craft haul, haul for me, <laughs> uh, women's clothing. Um, so I'll get straight into it. To start off with, I picked up this little wooden storage basket. I'll have listed down below how much it was. Um, $5. Uh, yeah, so I picked this up with the idea of my son painting it, then taking it outside into the shed that we have and putting his garden tools in here or his um, plastic screwdrivers and that in here. So I thought this was a really cute idea to do one day with him. I picked up this magnetic foam letters and numbers that I'll pop on my freezer in the pantry. Um, my son's doing really well with letters and numbers and I thought this might just, you know, push him along a little bit more, trying to get him ready for kinder next year if it goes ahead. Um, so yeah, I picked this up and it's a good way for him to start learning what letters, like his, his name as well so yeah really really cute idea i think this was three dollars but i'll have it listed down below i picked up this paintbrush set from the crafts section now i wasn't going to buy this but i ended up having to buy the bullet and buy it it was three or four dollars three dollars um but i had been looking for kids paint brushes for the last three four weeks every time i went to kmart i went to check for kids paint brushes and nowhere to be seen so i ended up having to bite the bullet and grab this one here i just had to say hey that's it i need paint brushes and this will do until i actually find something for my kids to use Next, I picked up these glitter sets. It's going to be absolutely messy, but I thought, you know, it will be a cute craft idea to do with um, when they're painting. Sorry, when they're painting, they can just put some glitter on it. Yeah, it's going to be messy, but we'll see. I picked up this knitted jumper for my daughter it was $15 really really cute it's like a a real real dusty pink color like real dark dusty pink um yeah really really cute I'm preparing myself now for summer months to wear like on cold nights um I picked up this knitted jumper. Now, I love pinks and purples on my daughter. So, yep, pick this up. This was $15. It's really, really cute. Like, it's, oh, and it's still, it'll still be, she'll still be able to wear this when it's warm over dresses and, you know, at night as well. Uh, yeah, and it won't be overly hot for her. I picked up this really, really cute jumper. It's purple. This was $8 and it's got this little lace thing on her, on the shoulder, which I thought was adorable. Um, it just, you know, made it look a little bit more dressier than just a normal jumper. So, yeah, I thought that was absolutely cute. I picked up this jumper here that was $7.50. It's got some flowers at the front. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm just preparing for uh, the summer months. Because uh, by then, the jumpers that I have brought for her already might have shrunk in the dryer or have stained or, you know being destroyed so i'm just getting ready for the summer months and i always fear that i know with my son when it gets to summer 
I go and look for tops and tracksuit pants for him um, because you still want to be able to have those available on cold nights to put on them or a coldish day with you know a t-shirt on um, and I can never seem to find anything in their size so or in, in his size so I fear that for my daughter as well especially because I'm seeing summer stock already coming out now so I'm preparing myself if I'm, I'm the type of person that is super prepared um, so yeah Grab those. Now this is a really quick haul. Um, but all in all, I did spend $84.50. So, you know, it does it does add up with all these little bits and pieces as well. I picked up this jumper for myself. This is a size 12. It's got the scallop on the bottom, which I think is really flattering on my body shape. Um, it was $15. I picked this up in a pinky color, um, a really, really pale pink. Um, in the homewares haul, I put it at the end of a homewares haul that I put out last week. Um, so go check that haul out. I'll have it linked here as well. Um, but I had to get it in this other color because it was just so comfy on um, and it'll be really good to wear when the weather warms up as well over like some shorts or it's just really really cute and I'm I'm a v-neck kind of person but I absolutely love that top and had to get it in this color I am I really didn't need this jumper but it was $8 um, and I was in the active wear looking for something else and I seen this jumper and I'm like, yep, I'll just grab it. I'm going to plan on losing weight. I plan on getting into exercising once the weather warms up a little bit. <laughs> this cold weather just doesn't motivate me to exercise. So that's a bad thing. Um, but yeah, so this was $8 in a size 12. It's a bit snug on me. It's got the fleece inside. But yeah, it's a little bit snug on me. So I, I probably could have gone a size 14. But, you know, there wasn't a size 14. And I figured that I'm going to lose weight. Um, it's just a matter of time. <laughs> so it'll fit into me eventually. So or it'll feel, it'll, I like my clothes loose. Um, because I do have a lot of curves. Um, so, yeah, that will, yeah. But it, it's, it feels so comfy with. Oh, love it. Anyway, so all in all, I spent $84.50 and came out on this trip. And I think that's probably going to be a, that, yeah, I'm probably not going to go to Kmart as often as what I have been, um, which makes for good videos, good hauls when stage three isolation is eased. Um, you, you will be getting a lot more Kmart hauls. I think when that that comes around so I'm gonna save my pennies and do some massive hauls when stage three comes out of action but every now and then I know when like if you know there might be a day when I'll say you know I just want to go out sh to Kmart one day for an hour not not an hour I mean just drive to Kmart and come back will be an hour but um and just clear my heads I'll have a mask on, I'll be super, super cautious, you know, I might buy one or two things, so there's probably no point in doing hauls for those things, but yeah, I'll, um, for those out there, like, I did go grocery shopping on Friday, so we went into stage three lockdown on Thursday, and on Friday, I didn't get in time, I, I went online on Wednesday to do an online Coles order, um, and delivery wasn't going to come until Sunday, which was yesterday, today's Monday. Um, and I couldn't wait that long because I really did need items for dinners, um, uh, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday. Um, so yeah, so I, I couldn't wait that long. Um, so I did go into, uh, into Coles on, uh, Friday and it was hectic like we're in stay-at-home orders, but it was absolutely hectic 
and the amount of people I bumped into and I tried not to have conversations with them it was just more of a hi bye hope you're well <laughs> um, so yeah I am I am practicing the social distancing and you know not catching up with people like you know doing really well I don't want to get fined nothing of that sort and, and let's just stop this virus from spreading and where I am I'm in regional Victoria I won't say where in regional Victoria I am but we 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 never had any cases like we probably had only one one or three cases um, in this whole time of the coronavirus outbreak but numbers are starting to climb now where I am and it's it's actually really scary I do have I'm from Melbourne originally 28 years in Melbourne and when I got married is when I moved down here because hubby had a really good job down here and um, he was going to be the money earner because when I had kids um, which was well and truly later down in our marriage because of fertility issues um, I know I knew I was gonna be a stay-at-home mum until my kids started primary school so I'm not going back to work until my daughter starts prep um, which is a few years down the track so hubby's income was a real priority so that's why I moved down here rather than staying in Melbourne but I know my family is all my family parents brothers sister cousins aunties uncles are all in Melbourne and all spread out and my grandmother's 97 she's 97 years old she turned 97 in June um, and she's in a nursing home and thankfully her nursing home is a private nursing home she's paying an arm and a leg to stay in this nursing home but um, there's only been one outbreak there and that's it like they've been absolutely amazing um but it's just so scary to hear what's happening um in melbourne and it's getting it's climbing up where i am at the moment so really really scary times um so yeah i am i know in when we were in stage three last time i did go out um when my husband was home, I did go every, every couple of days to clear my head and do a grocery shop or go to Kmart or go to Target or, you know, do those sort of shopping trips um, instead of online. Um, but this time, because I know the outbreak's getting pretty bad here, like in gyms and there's cases coming out now. So it's out in the community and I just want to stay home. I just don't want to risk it, especially because I'm going in for surgery. Oh, fingers crossed, I'm going in for surgery at the end of August. It hasn't yet been cancelled. I'm actually going to call my specialist today, this afternoon, to make sure that stage two surgeries are still going ahead, which I hope so because I really need my issues sorted. So fingers crossed it's still going to go ahead. But yeah, everyone, just be safe out there. Um, I know watching YouTube videos for me is a little bit of a kumbaya moment. I get to just have a cuppa and watch a video or listen to a podcast. I put my earphones and the ear, Kmart earphones that I had in a Kmart haul not too long ago, a couple of weeks ago. Amazing. Love them. Love them, love them. Um... Yeah, so I put them in and I clean, I cook, I, you know, just listen to a podcast um, and it just relaxes me and, you know, it's like a bit of a zen sort of, I know it sounds weird, but when you've got two kids under the age of, well, my son's going to be four in December, but he's starting to mellow and do his own thing, but my daughter's just nuts at the moment so um yeah just a little bit of a kumbaya moment and I just focus on it and I just get to relax and then I get on with my day so 
everyone stay strong i know um mental awareness is really really um important these days so reach out to people that you know in victoria find out how they're doing i know um for me mental health that i've been struggling for the past oh god how old am i 16 years <laughs> um I, mental issues from when i was 20 years old um, i'm now 36 so for the past 16 years i've suffered mental health issues i've been doing really well um but it's not talked about very much it's one of those things just reach out say are you okay um and let's beat this and let's stop giving the premier a hard time he's doing a fantastic job he's just getting i don't know how he does his press conferences these days but he is just really really getting it from everyone but i personally i'm i'm not into politics at all um but he's just getting a real hard time from these reporters uh so yeah anyway i won't go into that <laughs> I'm not in, I'm not into politics. Give me a comment down below if you need to have a chat. I'm always here. Um, I'm always, you know, I might not respond straight away, but I will respond within a day. But yeah, let me know if you need to have a chat. And these hauls are just a little bit of a... I know I said, said kumbaya before, but doing these hauls just help me relax and re regroup. And it just does something for me, these hauls. So, yeah, I, I really, really love doing these hauls. Um, now, Kmart hauls, I, I don't know if I, I've said this already, but I will not be going to Kmart at all. Um, I might go every now and then. And if I can hold off for the haul for a, an actual, like, decent sized haul, I'll hold off. So I might be doing a few day in a lives videos or cooking videos. So watch those videos. They are like, I know it, it might not interest you, but there might be some recipes that I do that you'd love to try. Um, and my day in a life, well, I'll try and do them. I did record one last week and I deleted it because I did not like the way it turned out the way. my kids are at that age where they try and still grab they, they they go for the camera when i have it set up so it's a bit tricky at the moment so yeah they don't go to daycare or anything like that especially at the moment with what we're going through so it's a little bit tricky but i'm gonna do my best um let me know down below i am a hairdresser by trade i haven't done hairdressing in a number of years uh, a number of years like it would be at least oh, 13 years but I still do I do my hair myself I color my hair myself so if you want to get tips and tricks on how to color your hair or how to style your hair I mean I'm probably not doing a good job at the moment because I have my baby hair coming back through from when I had my kids I lost a heap of hair with my daughter so they're all starting to come back through so you know probably doesn't look like I know how to do my hair at the moment but yeah and I've got really fine hair so it's a bit crazy um yeah so let me know if you want any videos tips and tricks on how to do your hair how to color your hair I do my nails myself so I could give you some tips and tricks on how to do the SNS nails also so yeah let me know what you're in what you want to see out of me um considering i won't be, be able to do much of these hauls um but yeah let's keep it up and i hope everyone is safe 
and I will see everyone in my next upload. I don't know what I'm going to upload next, but yeah, keep an eye out for it. Subscribe, like this video, leave me a comment and I'll see everyone in my next haul or daily vlog or cooking, cooking video. I don't know. I'll just have to pull something together and see what I can do. <laughs> um, yeah, have a lovely day. Bye.